Hey guys, it's Marcus here from AffiliateMarketingDude.com. And if you're new here and you like learning about WordPress and affiliate marketing and making money, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the little bell notification icon. That way you get the latest videos when I come out with them and you're notified when we go live and answer all your questions on live training. So you don't want to miss that. Now in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get around those pesky little URL shorteners. You know, the ones like bit.ly or tiny URL or even click magic or anything like that and actually use your own domain. Now the reason we want to use our own domain is because it's not only going to brand us, but it also allows us to keep everything on one site that we own. So if for any reason we can't use the other uh, URL shortening services, we can actually use our own site it's always on our site, right? So it's going to brand you. It's going to keep the links within your site. It's going to be easy as heck to memorize your links and create them the way you want. And it's going to be easy to track them. And also it's going to boost up your Alexa ranking, which means your site's more popular, which means the search engines usually tend to pay a little more attention to it. So without any further ado, let's dive right in and talk about how to start this with our brand new affiliate tracker plugin. What we're going to do is first, First and foremost, we're going to go into uh, the main dashboard of our WordPress. Then we're going to go into plugins. We're going to hit add new. Once we hit add new, we're going to go up to upload plugin, which it went, there it is. It kind of jumped away on me. We're going to hit upload plugin. We're going to choose a file. Now I have these plugins saved on my desktop under plugs. Well, under one of the things. Let's see here. I think it's called live plugs or something like that. It's under desktop. There we go. We will be able to find it, right? There we go, plugins. All right, so we're going to go in here. We're going to add afdlinks.zip. Now, you can get this on your own. Um, you can order it from one of our sites, or you can get it as part of our Simple Sites Big Profit software, which has tons of other plugins that you'll want to use as well. But for right now, let's go ahead and install this, right, like this. And we wait and wait and wait. There we go. And we hit activate plugin when done. So we're going to activate this plugin. Okay, and this is a custom plugin that I had developed based on my specifications of what I want done and the way I like this stuff. All right, we have Affiliate Marketing Dude Tracker version 2. There it is, right? Cool. You're also going to see that it's right here under Affiliate Marketing Dude Tracker. So we're going to go ahead and click this now that it's installed. Now the way that this is going to work is you're going to go ahead and go into settings first. This is where you set up the link tracker. So this is going to set up your URL. So we could have like affiliatedude.com or whatever your site is, yoursite.com slash T slash whatever. Okay, the T is what we're changing. So I could go through and I could say, well, I want this to say go or lowercase go or something like that. I usually use go because it's, it's a little bit easier and, you know, it doesn't conflict with other URLs on your site. Once we type go in, we hit submit, and boom, we're done. Now we're going to go into manage. This is where you create your links. Watch how easy this is, right? So if I have an affiliate link here, let's say I take my affiliate link for something like ClickFunnels, right? And notice, this, this link's huge. We're not going to use this on any. It's just way too big, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take this link. Now, this works on any affiliate link that you're using. It's going to work on Commission Junction. It'll work on ClickBank. It'll work on Max Bounty. It'll work on literally every affiliate link that is driven by a link like this, which is pretty much all of them. So we're going to go here, and then we're going to copy this link, and then we're going to go back into our blog here, and we're going to create a link. Now, this is where it gets really cool. So I can go through. Now, we know that it's going to be affiliatedude.com slash go. And now all I have to do is type in the name. So I could put click funnels, right, like this. I put the URL that I want to shorten, that big old URL. And then I name my shortened URL. So I could just call this, like, click funnels. And boom, all I need to remember now is affiliatedude.com slash go slash click funnels. I mean, how easy is that, right? We hit submit and watch what happens. Now we can go through and we now have a link that is affiliatedude.com slash click funnels. You can actually use this without the go as well. Okay. Uh, it also has the go and it also has the original URL so you can see it. You can change it, everything like that. Okay. So now I got affiliatedude.com slash click funnels. I can actually go to that page. So we'll go here and boom, there's the page. It's going to redirect to the ClickFunnels, obviously, because that's our affiliate link. Obviously, if I was logged out, it would be a lot more impressive, right? Because we'd be going to something else. Let me show you on a different browser here so you can see, right? So if we go to Bing 
and we type in affiliatedude.com slash clickfunnels, boom, it's going to redirect us to the page for ClickFunnels through my affiliate link, so I get paid when they sign up, which is really cool. Okay, so that's how it works. It's really awesome. And as you can see, this is going to come in handy because it's a lot easier to remember affiliatedude.com slash ClickFunnels, and it's a lot easier to say that on a video, and it's a lot easier to say that um, to people, you know, when you're talking to people, hey, go sign up here or whatnot. Um, and so much easier to remember, right? I can go through and say, okay, well, the next one, let's say I want to put a hosting link. Then all I would do is take my hosting link like this. Okay, we'll hit add. We're going to type in hosting, and then we'll do URL to shorten. Okay, here's our URL from the hosting company. So we'll go in here. All right, right like this. And then I'll just type in like host. Right, and then all I have to do is be like, go to affiliatedude.com slash host. We could use these in emails. We could use them everywhere. And what it's doing is it's adding that link. So it's easy, right? You can change it. If I want to change host, I just change this link. It changes on everything. And as you can see, it's actually tracking everything as well. Now, imagine how much nicer this is going to look on your site because you just go through and you're like, hey, dude, check this out. Now I got um, affiliatedude.com slash host, affiliatedude.com slash click funnels, affiliatedude.com slash whatever. And all the traffic is going to your site. So it's all congruent. Everyone's like, hey, yeah, I know that site. I know what's going on here. Um, and it's really cool. So this like by far beats any other tiny URL or URL shortener or click magic or anything like that because you own it, which is the biggest perk. And the second biggest perk is I don't have to remember all these weird, crazy links and look them up. I'm just like, dude, affiliatedude.com slash host, affiliatedude.com slash click funnels, affiliatedude.com slash autoresponder or whatever it is. And boom, there you go. And it works like a charm. You could change them at the drop of the hat. And of course, as you go to them, right, we can just go to our host one here just to see uh, what was it? Affiliate dude.com slash host host and boom. There we go. Bada bing, bada bang. It goes to the thing. And actually the hosting company put my picture on the site, which I thought was really cool. Um, so, you know, Hey, if you need hosting, go there. I am an affiliate. I get paid, but there's my picture and you get cool stuff for signing up too. But there you go. Right? So now we have that. And at a glance, I could see how all my links are doing. And then if I want to do one for like a different thing, I do like hosting one or hosting two or hosting email. Or if I'm doing like a Facebook ad, I could do uh, hosting FB or something like that. And it's super easy. So guys, use this. It's awesome. It works. And it's easy. And try it out right now. Go to Affiliate Dude. Well, actually, let's set this up. Hold on. We'll do this the right way. So what I'll do is I'll just set this up for you and we'll just go ahead and hit the plus. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to redirect you to the link, the link shortener plugin. So we'll just type in link here. I'm going to put the URL to shorten, which is tinyaffiliatelink.com. All right. Do, do, do. There we go. Tinyaffiliatelink.com. And then I'll call this link. Okay. So to see how this works, go ahead and go to, uh, go to affiliatedude.com slash link. That's affiliatedude.com slash link. You can pick up this plugin. We'll make it inexpensive, or you could check out Simple Sites Big Profits and uh, use that as well. But I hope you like this. It's a really good way to track your links, keep track of everything, and keep it all on one hosting, one domain, one everything, so that everything's congruent, which is the key to marketing, because you want people to remember your site over and over. Again, remember, how many of you guys have trouble remembering that my site's affiliatedude.com? Right? I'll bet you all got it by now. So hop over to affiliatedude.com slash link, pick up a copy of this plugin, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again for watching.